Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom, the nation's largest discount appliance dealer. Visit our website for deals and store locations near you. Hi, this is Clee Crocker. I'm here once again at Appliance Factory Mattress Kingdom. And I got some good news for you. I got new numbers. These are going to be your top three French door refrigerators of the year so far. And really, we went back about three months uh, because, you know, that takes us into November. So we have a lot of numbers to go up against. And, and when we do it this way, um, I'm taking a look at actual sales across several states and giving you the number one, number two, number three uh, family size refrigerators. And um, that really gives you a good sense of what's trending out there. Um, when we aggregate all that together. So the number one is all about price, really, and it's this Samsung French door refrigerator. This one's a 28 cubic foot. And Samsung's actually a fan favorite out there. You guys keep buying Samsungs, and it's done pretty well. Uh, this one is uh, a really nice one. So we're gonna go through some of the quick features on there so I can get to the other two as well. Um, but this is a French door and uh, features that we like about it spill proof glass shelf so when you fill these if you ever fill a shelf you'll fill a little lip all the way around that's generally a spill proof glass shelves which means if you knock something over or you got a dish that's spilling and you didn't know it it's not it's just going to puddle up there instead of getting all over your refrigerator so that's very nice it has a door alarm so if you leave this open uh, for too long it'll actually send you a little beep to, to remind you all the controls for everything is right here on the inside um, so nice and easy to get to. It's got a water filter right here. You untwist that and you can pull that right out and change it out every now and then. It'll alert you when it's time to do that. It's got a very nice deli drawer here. So you can see that's big enough to get you quite a spread going on. Um, it's got humidity control crisper. So these are all very basic features, but I like that it's all in there. So. Now remember on humidity control crispers, all the ones we talk about today will have these. You set it for low for the things that um, are out in the middle of the grocery store. You set it for high for the things that get showered in the grocery store. That makes your food last longer. It also has LED lighting, which is the kind that gives you a nice glow, but also lasts much, much longer than incandescent bulbs. You have gallon door storage on this. So all the basic features on there are things that we like. Let's take a look at the freezer. I think you'll like that too. Now, one of the nicest features on here is that it doesn't have an ice maker. Believe it or not, a lot of people just like to have it clean. There's nobody getting into it. There's nothing to clean out later. But the ice maker is right down here. So whenever you open that up, it will be uh, full of ice. There's an ice maker tucked under here out of the way. But uh, imagine having this full. This is a tray, we've still got this one taped in, but I could pick this up and take it right to the table if I want to. And because these are separated, you've got nice organizational space for your freezer items. And look here, this is something that Samsung does, LG does. It is something to break the seal so that when you are lifting up on that handle, see how it pulls up? It breaks the seal and opens it up. It makes it where it's really easy to slide out. If the seal is working really good, the thing that keeps the air inside here from leaking out, it's working right, it will be a little hard to pull out. And these things help it so that when you pull it, you're not pulling the whole refrigerator with it. So this isn't a very good um, fridge store refrigerator. I think you really like that, but let's go to the number two. Number one is because it's $14.99. The rest of these are actually quite a bit more they are much more fully featured, but number one is all about its price. Now, fair warning, prices are going up this year probably two or three times from these vendors because material costs keep going up, transportation costs uh, keep going up. This all has something to do with the pandemic that's been going on, um, restricting flow of goods. And we know that here in about a month, prices will go up. And we don't know how many times it's going to happen this year. So it's $14.99 at least, I believe, uh, for the rest of uh, February. I don't know what it's going to be in March. Okay, number two. Let's go see a GE profile. Okay, so here we are the number two seller of the year so far. This is GE profile. So this is actually a big one. This one, you know, this one is also 28 cubic foot. But it's got a lot of features. You know, if we just take a look on the outside, we've got 
now the um, ice maker on the outside versus the last one. And this has got a feature called auto fill. So you can put something on there and it will automatically fill it to the top like a water bottle. You don't even have to worry about it overfilling. Now when you turn this on, this will light up with all the different features on here. It just stays this monochromatic color when it's not in use. And then you get near it, it has proximity on there. So you touch it or get near it, it will light up. Um, and show you what's available to you. But that's kind of a nice feature. Um, we also have here an extra refrigeration drawer. So if you look here, you can set it for meat, beverages, snacks, wine. You know, this will make it a little bit colder than the rest of the refrigerator. Um, and then put things in there like juice boxes, whatever you want. I've seen even people put uh, salad bars in here. So this is really cool. Uh, if you want to put stuff with the kids, it's right at their level where they can get to it. But it is temperature controlled, so that means the stuff that you put in there is going to last. And then we have the freezer on the bottom. And again, this is another one where it's just really nice. It's organized. It's got a divider in here. This is actually the most popular style freezer that's made. There's more hidden drawers in the back here. Um, so I'm going to shut this one. This is what's called uh, fingerprint stainless steel, so this helps um, helps in absorbing fingerprints where you don't have to touch it. But there's a hidden thing on the outside here that a lot of people don't know about. It's called door and door, and there's a little trigger inside there. So when I pull that trigger and then open it, we're actually just opening the outside door here. And that is so that you can get access to things on the inside without losing all the cold air. Um, this helps protect it, and you can even take this and spin it out here uh, to make things easier to get to. So there's a place to store here, places to store here, and then you can put things down here too. That means everything in here is going to be a little cooler for you. And then when I open the inside here, oops, without pulling the trigger, you can see that it has got a lot of space in here. We got the hidden ice maker in front of here. We got a hidden water filter here. And then uh, we've got the spill-proof glass shelves. You can see me looking for that lip there. We can put taller things on here and shut it. So that's very adjustable for you. It lets you get more things of different shapes inside there. We've got the humidity control crispers inside here. We've got the LED lighting in here and on the sides. And um, so uh, this thing back here, you know, it looks a little funny. I know we don't have the power on back here. That's a light bulb. That is going to be so bright in there that you're going to be able to find everything inside of this refrigerator. It's really, really nice. So we're going to move on now, and I'll take you to the number three, Bosch. Okay, so here we're at the Bosch. And you can tell maybe from the sound of the background, we're actually on the live sales floor here, so I had to move over a little quicker. But um, one of the things I mentioned, on the, I did mention on the last one, um, is its price uh, and it sells for $29.98 and at the end of this video I'm going to give you some price surprises for the, the uh, prior two refrigerators I mentioned but it also has a feature on that GE profile that is um, it's a dual evaporative coolers and so what that means is that on that last one and this one has it too that's why I mention it now they both have separate air that touch the freezer from what's in the refrigerator. That means that you have a nice dry air in the freezer and a nice moist air in the refrigerator on purpose because it makes things last longer. What makes this extra special is that this one also has, um, let's see, I've forgotten the word, they have two uh, dual compressors. So dual compressors means it doesn't have to work as hard to keep it cool. So this was actually the most efficient refrigerator of the ones we've talked about so far. So this Bosch, I really like it. This is the counter deck. This is not going to be as large on the inside as the rest of them. This is 21 cubic feet, but it's still uh, far enough for most families out there. It's going to be shallow. You can see how it's more shallow here. It sticks out just past the counter so that you can open the doors freely. But the rest of it's hidden. Look at all the space you get back. It would otherwise be sticking out somewhere around there if it was a full-size one. That's a lot of space when you're talking about a small uh, kitchen. This actually helps raise a home value because it's a more luxury look, a more built-in look. Looking at the outside, the other things we see is there's no handles. What that means to me as a guy who goes through a lot of kitchens um, is that I don't have to worry about the handle 
offending any other brand in there. So, you know, people like to buy things as a kitchen, the same brand everywhere, but not always. In fact, a lot of the higher end kitchens, they'll have a different brand in the, in the uh, dishwasher, different one in the stove, and so on, because they want to get exactly what they want rather than what uh, is already preset by the brand. So this one can go in any brand and it won't, we don't have to worry about it not matching. Um, other features inside there, it also has this. This is a similar drawers to what we just saw. Meats, fish, fruits, vegetables, beverages, snacks, um, and miscellaneous. So you can program this to do other things for you. But again, use it just like the last drawer we saw. You can put juice in there, vegetables in there, a salad bar in there. Whatever you want to do, it's going to make it last. And then if I go to the bottom, here we have an ice maker and they're showing you an example of the kind of ice that it makes. Boy, that is cold. This one's on. Um, and then at the bottom, same kind of deal. Again, America's favorite freezer uh, is this style on a French door. And then you're going to really like this. Wait till I open this up. Boom. Isn't that gorgeous? It has got a stainless steel back and it really trims us out very nicely. And it actually helps with it. So I like this. Um, it's got these glass shelves in there. So this one is not spill proof like the ones we've seen, but it is very sharp with these stainless steel looking edges on there. And um, we've got a big deli drawer here. So it's much shallower than the last one because it's saving the space on the outside, but it, look at the LED lighting on the side. LED dotting up here. No matter how full you get this, it is going to be very, very bright. It's going to be very easy to find stuff. Again, it's got gallon door storage on it. Um, other things they mentioned in here, multi-flow air, which is uh, what helps keep the temperature regulated inside there. Vita Fresh, which is the center drawer that we saw. It actually regulates the amount of humidity along with the temperature that makes food last longer. Um, those, are shell those shelves, you can see they're cantilever, cantilever adjustable shelves, so that you can move those up and down like you want. Anyway, it's a really nice, uh, nice Bosch refrigerator. Um, you can look at some of my prior films. I've actually done two reviews on this in the past for various reasons. Um, but this one is just amazing. It is uh, one of the top unit sellers of the last quarter. Um, it, and in the past, it's been the top seller as well. It's just always at the top of the list. And that's based on unit sales and in light of its $36.99 price. So it's, uh, it's more expensive everything we've seen. It's very reasonable in price because well, we can kind of consider this a premium brand uh, like we do GE Profile. So um, I told you that I was going to bring up some things that would help with pricing. Um, we have a couple things. One, we have rebates that are available on both the Bosch and the GE Profile. Depending on how many uh, other units you buy with it because you may want to buy the stove or or a dishwasher or other pieces, you'll get more money off um, by buying full kitchens with this through the rebate. We also have availability on out of box and the prior two refrigerators. So um, an uncrated item, sometimes we'll get them with slight blemishes from the manufacturer. They sell to us uh, exclusively and we get it with a full factory warranty. So um, you can go see when you come in to see the sales associate, ask them about the uncrated uh, Samsung, the uncrated uh, GE that we just went over, and you'll get those for less. And so just to give you an example of the savings on that, if you got the Bosch, I'm sorry, if you got the Samsung, which is priced at $14.99 today, it's out of box version, it's $13.18. If you got the GE Profile, which is $29.98, it's out of box version, is $26.36. So the question you've got to ask is, how much is a cardboard box worth to you? So always ask that when you walk into an appliance factory because we always have a deal in addition to the one you come in to look at. So I hope this helps. This is the top three of 2022, and we'll come back with you a little bit later with some more um, categories like cooking and so on. Uh, and also in another quarter, we'll do these again.